Hey guys, today I'm going to be seeing what happens when you plug in SATA power and Molex power at the same time. So, I don't know if you know, but there are some hard drives that have both a Molex power connector and a SATA power connector. This is seen on early SATA hard drives, mostly. And I remember these old uh, Hitachi Death Star hard drives. They'll have a little sticker here saying not to plug in the Molex and the SATA power at the same time. So, I'm curious. What would happen if I plugged them in at the same time? I'm going to be using this WD 40 gigabyte hard drive for this experiment. So let's go ahead and start. Before I do it, I'm going to plug in both SATA power and Molex power on their own to show that this hard drive is fully functional. First, I will start with the SATA. So let's let this go. Let's power this up. As you can see right here, the hard drive is showing. It's right here. And just to make the test fair, here it is with Molex and Molex only. Just show this all works. Let's go ahead and boot up. And as you can see, it shows up just fine. The drive and we're on Molex. So now it's plugged both of them in. Data power and Molex. This is all legit here. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Three, two, one. Still shows up. They can make a text document. This drive is fully functional still. And it shows normally in crystal disk in place. So apparently nothing happens if you use both. I still don't recommend it though. Okay. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.